Sir, Police Department, lines being recorded by Sean. Hey, we've had some break-ins in my neighborhood, and there's a real suspicious guy. Uh, it's Retrieve You Circle. Um, the best address I can give you is 111 Retrieve You Circle. This guy looks like he's up to no good, or he's on drugs or something. It's raining, and he's just walking around looking about. Okay, and this guy, is he white, black, or Hispanic? He looks black. Did you see what he was wearing? Yeah, a dark hoodie, like a gray hoodie, and either jeans or sweatpants and white tennis shoes. He's here now. He was just staring. Oh, he's just walking around the area. at all the houses. Okay. Now he's just staring at me. Okay, and so it's one 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 retrieve you or one eleven? That's the that's the clubhouse. That's the clubhouse. Do you know what the he's near the clubhouse right now? Yeah, now he's coming towards me. Okay. He's got his hand in his waistband. And he's a black male. Okay. How old would you say he looks? He's got a button on his shirt. Late teens. Late teens, okay. Mm-hmm. Something's wrong with him. Yeah. He's coming to check me out. He's got something in his hands. I don't know what his deal is. Okay, just let me know if he does anything, an okay? Over here. Yeah, we got him on the way. Just let me know if this guy does anything else. Okay. These assholes, they always get away. Shit, he's running. He's running. Which way is he running? Why are you following me? What are you doing around here? Me and my partner, Drew, we just did an actual reenactment of what we believe may have happened the night of uh, February 26, 2012. The night that Trayvon Martin was stalked, captured, possibly kidnapped, and the very last shot that you saw, we believe it was a murder. That was when Martin attacked him from behind. In this reenactment, I played George Zimmerman, the neighborhood watch captain, or the infamous neighborhood watch captain who we believe may have been a murderer that night instead of a person who acted in self-defense. We just gave you a brief demonstration of what we think really happened on that night. No one ever gave or ever, no one ever told Trayvon's side of the story. The media is constantly painting a picture to actually protect the image of young Trayvon Martin and to glorify the actions of George Zimmerman. But it goes back to the question, was it really self-defense or was it really premeditated cold-blooded murder? And we just proved the point. George Zimmerman had time to think about pulling that trigger. Because there was too many things people had to think about. In this story, instead of using my 9mm Beretta, I chose to use my 357 Magnum for a reason. Because... 911, do you need police, fire, or medical? Um, maybe both. I'm not sure. There's just someone screaming outside. Okay, what's the address that they're near? Okay, and is it a male or a female? It sounds like a male. And you don't know why? I don't know why. I think they're yelling help, but I don't know. Just send someone quick. Okay, does he look hurt? You? I can't see him. I don't want to go out there. I don't know what's going on. So They're sending. So you think he's yelling help? Yes. All right, what is your number? <laughs> Hello, I'm Drew Cosse, model, actor. I'm well versed in jiu-jitsu and 52 blocks. And the reason why I'm here today, as you can see in the video that I play or portray, Trevon Martin. What I believe is what I believe.
I don't know if he was murdered. I don't know self-defense. But what I do know is the facts. The facts on the case was it was suspicious. It was suspicious because he was walking around with a hoodie, coming home from going to 7-Eleven. All he had in his pocket was an Arizona iced tea and some Skittles. What we show in the video is some scenes that could have happened. I'm not saying that it exactly happened that way. What I'm saying is it could have happened. And what we portray, me and my friend Q here, what we show is a simple form of self-defense, something that would happen naturally. As we know in the facts, George Zimmerman was supposedly hit in the back of the head and supposedly jumped from behind. But what we saw clearly in the video was that George Zimmerman came to him, asked him what he was doing here, and all he asked Trayvon Martin was, why are you following me? And when he went to run to get away, he came at him with the gun. And as you could clearly see, I'm 6'1", my assistant here was 5'9", and you could see the height difference. And if he would have came at him and I would have stroked him in the back of the head like I did, you can clearly see that he would have had hit from the head. Then when I block the gun and he comes at me, you can clearly see how he could have got hit in the nose when I come up to try to hit him in the head. The facts are the facts. That George Zimmerman still hasn't been arrested. The evidence that could have and would have been there are clearly gone by now. So to even have a fair investigation, even at this point in stage, it's beyond recognition. There's nothing that we could really do to even get justice. Don't believe the hype.